Hello everyone, I'm Kaylin Bradley, and today I'm bringing you this week's upcoming events. On November 20th, the Choral Music Department will have its Choral Ensemble from 12.30 noon until 1.30 p.m. There will also be a Choral Concert from 7.30 p.m. until 8.30 p.m. If you love the sound of music, this is something you don't want to miss. Performances will take place in Phantom Performance Hall F108 to be exact. These events are free and open to the public unless otherwise noted. Spring of 2019 is fast approaching. November 20th is the first day that all returning students may schedule classes. Attention, all faculty, staff, and students. The campus will be closed Thursday, November 22nd and Friday, November 23rd for the Thanksgiving holiday. Classes will resume on Monday, November 26th. So be sure not to show up. You'll thank me later. The Health Center promotes health, wellness, and preventative care for students, staff, and the community. On November 27th, there will be free HIV testing held in Thunder Duck Hall, T110, from 9.30 a.m. until 3.30 p.m. You must be 18 years or older with a picture ID to participate. From Thunder Duck Hall to the East Breezeway, the North Texas Food Bank is perfecting your holiday. That's right, you guys. The North Texas Food Bank Mobile Pantry will be in the East Breezeway, November 27th, just in time for the holidays. You can expect to see them from 11.30 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. Holiday season accompanied by music is always great. From 12.30 noon to 1.30 p.m., the Richland String Orchestra and Chamber Ensembles will be in full effect. Later that night, from 7.30 to 8.30 p.m., the Fall Symphonic Instrumental Concert will kick off. It's titled Triumphant Stories, and it will feature the Wind Symphony, String Orchestra, and Chamber Ensembles. All of this will take place in Fannin Hall, F108, on November 27th. What's better than eight hours of school or work? I'd say an eight-hour game day. On November 28th, from 8.30 a.m. until 4.30 p.m., there will be a game day in El Paso Lounge. Every college student deserves a break of some sort, so be sure to take advantage. Don't meet me there, beat me there. If you'd rather catch a break in a more relaxed way, you have the option to enjoy a movie. As a part of the Richland International Film Series, a showing of No Man's Land will be held in Crockett Hall, C224, from 1.30 to 3.30 p.m. On November 29th, you're in for a treat. Richland College will host a Native American Heritage Celebration from 10.30 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. This celebration will feature Aztec party dancers. They are scheduled to perform from 12.15 to 1 o'clock p.m. November 30th, the Richland Big Band Jazz Ensemble will be performing in El Paso Hall on the cafeteria stage from 12 noon until 1 p.m. The following week, there will be three concerts and recitals. Starting December 3rd, works composed by students of Professor Omar Serio will be played at the Fall Students Composers Concert. This concert will take place at 7.30 p.m. and is scheduled to end at 8.30 p.m. December 4th, an instrumental honors recital will be held in Fannin Performance Hall F108 from 12.30 to 1.30 p.m. And then, December 6th, there will be a vocal honors recital in Fannin Performance Hall, F-108, from 12.30 to 1.30 p.m. Fannin will be booming, and I'm assuming that you'll be there. Are you an LGBT student at Richland? Are you looking to explore gender identity in a safe space with like-minded individuals? Well, Park is the club for you. Pride at Richland College, also known as Park, will meet in El Paso Hall E036 on Thursday, December 6th from 3.30 until 4.30 p.m. From this point forward, the club will meet every Thursday at 3.30 p.m. That's all of the news that you can use. Be sure to govern yourselves accordingly. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Kaylin Bradley from Chronicle TV Studios. I'll see you next week.